Hey Perla, it's Anthony. Uh, here's that video. It will give you a quick breakdown on things. Uh, like I kind of mentioned to you over Facebook, this is on the SEO side of things in regards to marketing. Um, it's just another form of marketing opposed to traditional and social media ads where you can reach customers. Uh, it's more kind of uh, buyer intent specifics. So uh, I'll hop in here and kind of explain some things and try to give you some tips that you can hopefully utilize. Um, due to you having an e-commerce store, there's going to be a lot, a lot of different routes and options you can take. But I think I found something that um, wouldn't be too difficult um, and could potentially drive you uh, a lot more traffic. So uh, let's get started here. I just want to kind of start out with talking about keywords. So a keyword is something someone searches for, obviously, in Google. Uh, it's usually either a service or a product. In your case, it would be a service, I mean a product. Um, animal print top is something that you offered in your store that I found. That specific keyword is searched 150 times a month on Google. So, and it has a keyword difficulty of one. Now, this is one specific keyword. There's many other keywords. You can search animal print top for women, animal print top women, um, animal top women, leopard print top women. I think you kind of get the point I'm making here. And all of these have different search volumes and they all have different keyword difficulties. This keyword difficulty ranges from 0 to 100. The closer it is to 100, the more difficult it is to pop up in these search results. This is a keyword difficulty of 1, so it shouldn't be too difficult to pop up in there. When this is punched in, obviously the first thing that pops up are ads. You can pay for these Google ads. Um, it's usually a cost per click kind of thing. Uh, but just for statistically, less than 10% of people actually click on those paid ads. 94% go to the organic results. And what I mean by organic results are these results so as you can see they're all national companies here amazon dillard's nordstrom uh, bloomingdale's macy's uh, target all of these pop up on the first page the map pack pop up pops up down here i'll explain that usually this is at the top i'm not sure why it's in the middle here but about 10 results usually pop up on the first page that aren't ads uh, and you want to be either in that map pack that i showed when people search that specific keyword or you want to be on the first page because 44 to 61 percent of people will click on the Google map pack in your case probably not because it's a product and you're online so maybe not really worry about this you can but I don't know if it make much of a difference but 91 percent of people stay on the first page and 75 percent of people click on the first three results as you can see when people search animal print top they're scrolling down and where are they clicking first? Amazon, obviously, Dillard's, Nordstrom. So I'll kind of pull up your website here. This is a tool I use called ARFs. It analyzes websites and kind of lets me see how they're doing, where they can improve in. So per your website, your domain rating is zero and your page rating is nine. Uh, you definitely want to get the domain rating up. That gives you authority and Google determines your ranking in those search results that I just showed by that. To increase your authority, you need more referring domains. So what I mean by referring domain is another website linking back to your website. So if we go in and look at your referring domains here, Shop the Best Boutiques, I can see that this web page looks like it may be a blog. Somewhere on this page you have a link going back to your site. And that's what I'm referring to in regards to um, backlinks. You want to get more of those because the more of those you have, as long as they're from good sites, uh, then Google will determine you as being more authoritative. There's a little more that goes into it in regards to nofollow and do follow links, but when you go to a website or you're, you're, uh, they put you on a website, if you know someone that has a website that can refer you there, give you a link back to their website. Make sure you tell them you want it to be a, a do follow link because that provides it um, passes on power. That I don't know that doesn't make much sense, but just ask for a do follow link. Uh, if it's a no follow link, it, it still helps, but it's not as um, it doesn't give you as much authority as do follow links. So when you're getting those backlinks, make sure you ask for that, and you can get those backlinks, like I said, through people that also have websites that you know that are willing to uh, link back to your site, blogs, people if you know that write blogs. If you have your own blog page, you can start linking back to your own site. It's not going to help that much because it's yours, 
but um, coming from other sites is mainly what you're after. If you can somehow get uh, a local paper to write a small story about you and put a link back to your site, you want to do that. Um, but in this case, coming back to your site is good. It gives you power. But you also want to target these specific words. So animal print top, you could use as an anchor text going back to your page. So an anchor text is just a hyperlink. So maybe in the blog post someone writes, oh, if you're looking for animal print tops, click here. And the animal print top would be highlighted in blue as a hyperlink for someone that clicked to it. That will give you more traffic and more power to that animal print top that will drive you this sort of traffic. And that's only 150 people a month, but I'm going to talk about that. Other keywords that you can target with higher volumes here in a minute. I just pulled that from your site here. But as you can see, the position you're in, you're only on the first page for Shop Rebel, which is your site, and that's where all your traffic is coming from. Um, any, like I mentioned, anything on the second page or beyond, no one goes to. But I wanted to pull up... Uh, so this is Dillard's. They were lower on this on the page, but as you can see, it's still not very high. Um, in regards to these back links, this is a back page too. It's a lot easier to beat these back pages than it would be to beat the main Dillard site. So if we get traffic to your site for these specific keywords, then you wouldn't need that many referring domains with that much authority to outrank them. But as you can see, this specific back page, which is an animal print for women's tops and Dillard, is driving 377 people to the site every single month. Um, and that's due to the fact that they're on the first page here. As you can see, for animal print women's top, 30 people search that a month, 100 people search this, 20 people search that, 20, 60, 150, 150, 150. And as you can see, the traffic starts to add up if you're on the first page for all of these search terms. And that's the that's kind of the game plan behind search engine optimization and uh, bringing in that traffic. Um, now I just want to kind of show you here the difference between being in positions. So if you're in the first position for a specific keyword, almost 30% of people will click on that first position and then it drops to half in the second position and continues to decline. So Amazon's in the first position. Obviously they have no backlinks coming in, but their first page and domain, domain rating is so strong it passes on uh, strength to it. You only have 32 organic keywords for this specific back page, but it's bringing in almost uh, 800 people a month clicking on this page looking for leopard print shirts, and that's because they are in the first position. Um, and when you're in the first position, that's who gets all the traffic. If we go in and look at the keywords they have here, look at this keyword, leopard print shirt. has 1,500 people every single month searching for it. It's a different keyword than the ones we were looking at. They're in the first position. 400 people are clicking on them because the volume is much higher, and they're in the first position. But the keyword difficulty is low, so that's something that could be ranked for fairly easily. Um, and like I said, there's so many different keywords with different search volumes that you can target. But that's kind of the game plan behind everything is getting, getting found for those keywords, which would be through your content. So being on your page, you want to make sure the keywords you're trying to target are listed on there. So let's go to, uh, I think I found that under tops here, and animal print. So you want to have content explaining the products. So in the descriptions, you'd want to have those type of keywords in there. You don't want to make it look too obvious, but you know, you'd want to put uh, this leopard print shirt blah, 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 blah in the description because when Google goes to your website and they crawl it, they're going to see that you have that on there. They're going to know what it is. Uh, you want to make sure your pictures are tagged with the specific keywords. You just have the image that needs to change. You need to go in and resave your pictures and you need to name them under the keyword. You want to name that picture leopard print shirt because Google cannot see pictures. The only thing they do is crawl your website and look for content and text. So you want to change all your pictures. And then you want to go and get those backlinks and specific anchor texts. You don't want to do too many anchor texts. You want to get anchor texts for your website, just your traditional URL, but you also want to go after specific keywords because that gives you the authority and helps you rank onto the first page and over these uh, companies and everything. Um, so that's the content tip and the back page tip, the citation tip. If you wanted to pop up in this map pack, um, uh, these are just popping up in the local areas because that's where I'm located. 
but if you had a physical location and you wanted your site to pop up in the map pack for maybe clothing store or something, then you could um, go to get a Google My Business account and add all your information. From there, you just need to uh, increase citations. A citation is your business name, your business phone number, and uh, your uh, business address listed on directories and local directories. So let's just use Morgantown, for example. If you were in Morgantown, you would put all that information, and then you'd add it to your Facebook. You'd add it to Yellow Pages online. You'd add it to lo local online directories, and then that would help you poss uh, try to rank up in this top three, and then people that are searching for certain things would see you popping up in the top here. But, um, and there's, the, Google just gives preference to businesses that have more citations. But those are pretty much the three things, three tips you can kind of utilize. I know that's a lot, and it might be a little confusing. Um, but uh, that's how you can, and for e-commerce, there's way, way, way more stuff. Like, all the, pro you could do this for literally all of your products, but that's obviously a lot of work and all that for you in general. So maybe targeting specific products you uh, get the most revenue from that have low keyword difficulty um, those kind of things uh, let me see here I think I'll try to find a free tool that this tool I use is you have to pay for it there might be a free one that can provide keyword difficulty that you can use that kind of uh, helps you determine uh, whether it's something you should go after or not but uh, outside of that those are the tips if you have any questions uh, let me know uh, other than that, appreciate your time.